Here is the inside of a failed CP4, and you can see all the metal shavings in there. You can see them here on this cam gear. And what happens is this is the bucket and the plunger that rides back and forth here in this gear case here. And it roller right here is supposed to ride on this cam gear. And what happens is this bucket can actually get turned in the bore. And then it's no longer running on the roller. And it's actually just turned sideways and it's hammering on this camshaft. This roller, it's lubricated by fuel. So that's why we always recommend running some kind of lubricity additive like the Hot Shots LX4 or some kind of additive that adds lubricity to your fuel because the inlet of the fuel comes into the CP4 here, which goes to the center of your gear train, which then is fed to the FCA or MPROP, your fuel control regulator. So if any metal is made inside of your gear housing, it feeds directly to your MPROP, which then sends fuel to the high pressure side and trashes your injector. Whereas the CP3 separates that, and if this fails in your CP3, it doesn't go into your feed circuit.